Welcome back to Lane Switching. Today, we're back in the studio with a very special guest. I am in here with none other than Dewey. Yes, How sir. you doing, man? How you been? I'm good, brother. I'm good, man. Uh, appreciate you having me on, fam. Um, been good. Been good. Been busy. You know what I'm saying? Lots of music, lots of new shit, but yeah, I've been good, bro. How you been, fam? I'm been good, man. It's uh, sick to have you in the studio today, and let's just get right into it, you know? Appreciate it. Tell, yeah. us, tell us a bit about your upbringing and, you know, life before music. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Um, you know, for the most part, I feel like it was pretty solid, you know what I'm saying? The way we came up and shit. Um, you know, it was busy. It was, it was, you know, I grew up in like, I'm, I'm the youngest of five kids, right? So it was a busy crib. It was, you know, there's a lot going on. It was always pretty hectic and shit. Uh, my parents, they, they, they grinded. They put in work pretty early on and moved us out to hood when I was pretty young still. So that was lit, obviously, you know what I mean? Getting better opportunities and shit like that. Uh, that also kind of meant though, you know what I'm saying? Uh, um, my mom and my dad kind of just had to like, you know, put in like OT and just always working and shit. So it's like when I think back now, it's like a lot of those memories is just like, you know, you know, working and whatnot, you know what I'm saying? Especially, especially my Dukes. My mom, like, I think she, she kind of like showed me how to like grind for real, you know what I'm saying? Just like seeing her grind and stuff when I was, you know, coming up. Uh, but yeah, she's a worker, man, you know what I'm saying? Like days, nights, you know, doubles, you know what I'm saying? Holidays and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I think because of that too, you know what I mean? My, 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 my older brothers, they kind of had to, you know, step up a little bit, contribute and shit. Uh, and so they like, they definitely helped a lot, you know, bringing up me and my sister and shit. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So uh, definitely tight with those niggas as well. You know, we're all really close and, you know, family's everything really. Uh, lots of family all the time. You know, cousins, aunties, uncles and all that shit. Just, you know, real family. So family's everything to me. For know? sure, for sure. Yeah. And uh, where did you grow up? I grew up here, man. I'm from Ottawa, bro. Born and raised. Um, was born in like uh, LT, uh, mm -hmm. Lower Town, and then kind of grew up mostly like for like like the the majority of my life was like I don't even know how to describe it, man. When people ask me this question, it's like it's very central. You know what I'm saying? Almost like near like Algonquin or like some shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So yeah, but Ottawa, yeah, born and raised, man. That's super sick. And um, when was it actually? Did you start making music? It's an interesting one, fam. You know, I try to like, try to think and like, kind of pinpoint exactly. I will say that my, my earliest like musical memories is like fourth grade, so that's like nine, ten. You know what I'm saying? That's when like I can really remember like starting to like consistently to pick up the pen and you know even picking up the mic and shit too. So, you know, in hindsight, it's it's it's, it's almost like it was like bound to happen. You know what I mean? Like I come from like a very like musical family, you know what I'm saying? Like my pops is always like blasting like his records and shit, like out in the crib, you know what I mean? And both my parents been in like church choirs and shit like really forever, you know what I'm saying? And my uh, my older sister, she 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 sings, you know what I mean? She used to like do mm -hmm. singing for real and shit. So she sings and she's only four years older than me and, and, and my broskies are, you know, they're, 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 they're you know, um, there's, there's a bit of an age gap there, you know what I'm saying? And so yeah. we've always been super tight. And so I think I kind of wanted to get like her, you know what I mean? And um, which was dope because I think when I decided, it's like I wanted to take this shit like serious for real, everyone's kind of like rallied like around me, you know what I'm saying? And it just made it like real like seamless, you know what I mean? And so um, one of my older brothers actually, he gave me, um, he gave me like my first like MP3 player, right? And it used mm. to be his, right? And he, he gifted it to me after, right? And so it had like all, all his tunes and he fucking put me on game for real, you know what I mean? So it was like all like the R&B like, like hits, you know what I mean? At the time, like classics, you know what I mean? And then all like the, the hip hop rap, obviously and shit. Uh, so that was huge for me because I guess when I kind of like started to like consume music in like a different way, you know what I mean? Like I feel like before that it was like a lot of radio and just kind of whatever was on and shit, but then that kind of like, you know, changed shit for me, you know what I'm saying? And so that was huge. You know, I don't even think I ever really told him like how much that, you know, kind of meant to me for real, but um, I was big time. And so, and yeah, that same brother too, he even got me into like like camps at the time, like like, like summer camps, you know, for like like artists and like musicians mm -hmm. and shit, which was, which was fire to be honest. Cause it's like, that gave me like early opportunities to be like around other like artists, other like creatives, you know what I'm saying? Even the fucking counselors were like artists and like creatives in, the, in their own rights, you know what I'm saying? And so yeah, that was I was I was big, and uh, also also I can't forget big 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 shouts to my older cousin too. He was he was rapping at the time, and so when I like decided like I wanted to really get into it, he just kind of like took me under his wing or whatever, like mentored me this and that, showed me the ropes and shit, and uh, different gigs that he had and shit. You know, he would like first I started out as kind of like like his like his hype man almost, you know what I mean? And 
you're young, right? You're a kid, and so people eat that shit up, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, and then later, you know, slowly kind of just turned into like performances and stuff like that. It would open up for him and stuff. So I was cool, man. But yeah, it was, it was, it was definitely around that time I started like, you know, doing music and making music and taking the shit kind of seriously and stuff. You know what I'm saying? For sure. And do you think it's, you know, predominantly your family is the reason why you make music? Yeah, man, it's gotta be, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm saying, right? Like music is i mean family is everything right and so they've always been mad like supportive of me and you know always in my corner all trying to see me win and shit and 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 they motivate the fuck out of me you know what i'm saying and so it's neat it's neat obviously having them and having them rally behind me and be so encouraging uh so 100 percent, man you know my family is, is is the main reason you know what i mean if not like one of the most important like i think factors as to why i make music you know i'm an artist for sure, for sure. And um, you talked about your sister being an artist as well. Yeah. Do you see yourself, maybe it's a collab with her or does anyone else, do you see yourself yeah. working with other artists? And do you plan on staying a solo act forever? No doubt. Um, it's funny for that first part. Me and my sister, I actually used to make tracks together. Like when I was like around the time where I was coming out. Yeah, yeah. Um, I started like getting into music for real. We, started, we, 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 we made like at least three, four songs together, you know what I mean? And like recorded them. And so that camp I'm talking about, she was there and shit. And so like, we were both taking it pretty serious at that time. Uh, made some tracks and shit together. She doesn't, like I said, she kind of, you know, didn't have like the love for it. So she doesn't make music and shit no more. But I've, 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 I've high key been like plotting and planning. I'm trying to get her back in the studio, son. At least like sample her vocals, you know, put them on like a beat or some shit, you know what yeah, I mean? Because yeah. she could still sing, obviously, right? So I think I'd be fine. Uh, in terms of like, I guess collabs and you know, I worked with other artists and shit like that. I have, or I have like, I have like a, I don't know, at least like five or six different tracks out right now with like different features on them. So uh, artists in the city, artists outside the city and shit. Um, I also have shit in the works too, you know what I mean? I, I, I fucking love like collaborating with different artists. Um, that's easily like one of my favorite things about you know making music and, and being an artist and so i'm always looking to to work with whoever i can you know if i fuck with the artist and yeah like 100 percent, i'm trying to work you know and so right now um i have you know shit uh you know in the vault with uh in terms of I guess, auto artists first um i just i hooked up recently with um low-key guap and, mm-hmm. and 30 bambino on a track we connected uh so we got something there uh, I also have a track um, in the works with my my big broski uh, Legacy. Uh, he's in the city too, um, and then just I guess beyond the city. I spent I spent time in Toronto. Uh, I spent a couple of years in Toronto, so I know I know some people out there and shit. And uh, he's got something in the works with uh, this dope artist. To be honest, it's real versatile. Uh, I think his name's Aaron B. Uh, so we got some, you know, hopefully soon, real soon, uh, most likely that we're gonna drop that shit. Uh, got something too with um, my broski for real, man, Hugo, HXGO, man. This guy's crazy. He's a superstar in his own right, son. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of the tracks I have out, um, I've worked with him on. And so mm-hmm. we have like, I think, I think between the two of us, like four, four or five, you know, different songs that like are out together and shit. Like, and, you know, and even right now, like as we're talking, we have shit that is just sitting there, you know what I'm saying? And so it's just kind of natural. We kind of always just connect every, you know, now and then and then get in the booth together and work. And, and so I'm sure like sometime real soon as well, you know, you'll, you'll, hear, you'll, you'll hear us on a track together too. Feel me? I think though, the last one, the last part was interesting. You know what I'm saying? Would I ever like, you know, would I, would I remain a solo act, you know what I mean? Forever or whatever. That's interesting. Fam. I, I haven't really ever thought about that. You know what I'm saying? I think I would remain a solo act. Unless it was just, you know, some type of opportunity that I, got, I felt really fit, you know, and just it's all like based on, I think, the circumstances and like what works, right? And But I think for now, though, I can't really see that happening, me, me branching off and being part of a group or being a duo with some, somebody or some shit. Unless it was like a producer, I could see myself teaming up with Coletta and that, but you know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. And uh, just speaking about teaming up, you have, you all, you're a part of, I guess you call it a collective volume four. Yeah. So for the people who don't know, what is volume four? Volume four, volume four. Man, volume four is everything, bro. That's that's everything. You know what I'm saying? You, you hit it right on. It's like a collective right now. But one thing, something we want to do and like what we're real passionate about is just eventually making that like 
into like a label, you know what I mean? And into like a brand almost, you know what I'm saying? But I guess for the folks who don't know, you know, volume four, that's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break it down for you guys real quick. So like I said, I spent like years in Toronto, right? I went there for school and shit. And so it's like when I moved to Toronto, it was like a lot of shit was changing for me, you know what I'm saying? Quick, you know what I mean? It's like, I'm in a new city, you know, I'm, I'm figuring that out. I'm, I'm meeting new people. I'm, I'm figuring out like university and shit. And everything was, you know, shit was going like a mile a minute, but like in a good way, you know what I'm saying? And um, around that time, I was I was meeting a lot of different people, you know, a lot of different experiences. And a lot of people I met, you know, would go on and just, you know, become like family almost, you know what I'm saying? Um, and then it was like around that time too, or, you know, shortly after I, was, I, I met Coletta, right? And so there's just a lot was changing for me. A lot was happening for me. And, you know, shit was going dope, you know? And it was like, with the move I felt too, it was like an opportunity to kind of like, you know, start over in a sense, you know what I mean? Like, you just like, everything's brand new, you know what I'm saying? It's like brand new, like beginnings and, you know, like fresh start type of shit. So I feel like kind of let me, it, let, it like allowed me to, you know, I think just, you know, be like, you know, my true self or whatever, like, you know, be myself for real, you know what I'm saying? And so it was around that. So I guess in context, you know what I'm saying? I, I stopped making music in like high school. You know, I just wasn't really feeling it like that no more. But then in uni, obviously I picked it back up. You know what I'm saying? So it was around this time, you know what I mean? Around all these people and it just like part of my life where I was like, word, you know what I mean? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get back into this. And so I think, I think it just kind of felt fitting, right? To, you know, incorporate all like, you know, all these milestones and everything that was, was happening for me and all these people into like what I was trying to do, what I was trying to create, you know what I'm saying? And so all these people, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying a family now, you know, I met them in like at school, obviously, right? But more than that, we was in like the same residence building, you know, same floor and shit. And so we were on the fourth floor. And so when, when we talk about volume four now, it's like the volume that's, that's to represent like the stage or like the chapter of my life. And then the four is just from the fourth floor all that shit went down, and so volume four. Super dope. And um, we're talking about your music. Whether someone has watched, watched someone has listened to a little bit of it, or maybe not at all. Three words to describe your music. Yeah, I mean, let us fuck, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> <laughs> but for I guess for real though, like. There's a lot of words I could use to describe myself, you know, in my music, but off top, I'd probably go like, you know, multi-dimensional, you know what I'm saying? Refreshing and like fluid, you know what I'm saying? Like I feel, you know, and, and, and I think the multi-dimensional there is like, that's, that's big, you know what I'm saying? I, uh, there's really like layers to this shit, man, you know, and in a lot of ways, like, I feel like I'm still like discovering myself as an artist and you know, I know my sound, you know, I know like my lane, but at the same time, it's like, I don't even got like a lane like that. You know what I mean? I'm still discovering like, like all the shit I'm fucking capable of and, you know, just how far I could take it, how like, you know, far I could like experiment and all that kind of shit. And so it's really like, you know what I'm saying? Multifaceted like that, you know? And so, you know, one thing I do fucking know now is that I could flow it on any type of beat, you know what I mean? And so like, I'm making all different types of music. So I'm like, Bro, I went on like vacation like early in early in the year and fucking, you know, I fucked around and made like a singing track in, in Spanish, man. Like, like I don't speak Spanish, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, you know, like I just be trying to like experiment and shit and do different stuff, you know what I mean? And so I think that's like probably my favorite quality about myself and, and about my music. And and you hear it, right? Like the tracks are different, you know, it's pain, it's you know, it's 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 joy, it's you know, different shit, it's family, it's making tracks for the streets and shit, you know what I mean? And so it's like different stuff out there, you know what I mean? And so um, that's something that's, you know, definitely, definitely, you know what I mean, up there in terms of how I would describe myself and how I would describe my sound. For sure, for sure. And, um, you know, you've only released singles so far. And no projects, no nothing. But realistically, the last few years, most artists only drop singles. Yeah. Why do you think that is? And do you think there will be? I think it was even Quavo was talking about this on social media about a platform to bring back almost the um the mixtape era yeah and and to like do stuff like that shit. do you ever see yourself you know in the future dropping a project and just you know your personal opinion why do you think artists have strayed away from projects it's interesting bro because everyone fucking everyone's favorite question like yo like when's the project sign like yo dewey like when are you dropping an album man you know what i mean and it's 
I think I think ultimately is is it's the market, bro. You know, so if you think of like artists and musicians as like businesses and you know entrepreneurs and shit, you cater into a demand, right? And so it's I'm not a fucking I'm not you know an analytics person or whatever, but like if you if you look at like the trends and shit, people like don't consume music the way that they used to, you know. So I don't know, fuck attention spans are shorter. People don't got time. I don't, I don't know, sure. right? But people just don't, and I'm not, not in the same way. You know what I'm saying? And so. As an artist, right, or you know, as a business, right, like, like I'm talking about, it for a lot of artists, I just feel like it don't it doesn't make sense, you know, um, at least not to like consistently be putting out projects, um, just because if you know if the demand is not there, you're not gonna do it, right? And so, um, you know, people want you know shorter, they want you know uh, more condensed and all that stuff, right? So I think that's why we're seeing so many so many singles being dropped. Um, and I don't think you know it's any, it's anything wrong with that per se. Uh, I, I I will say you know as as an artist, right, it is important to me to, you know, drop, you know, a full body of work, you know, so a project, you know, EP, whatever, whatever that looks like, you know, like however many songs on it, you know what I mean? But from, you know, start to finish, you know, that process I feel is, is, is you know, it just can't be, you know, undervalued, you know what I mean? In terms of like, um, I think, you know, just in terms of uh, like, a, like from a creative aspect and, um, you know, just being successful too. When you think of a, like a super successful artist, obviously they have several projects out, right? And so it's something I, that, that I do really, really want to do. Um, sooner than y'all might think as well, I want to definitely tap in and um, create a project and give y'all that. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, and, and one thing too, right? If you think about it, um, it's fucking expensive too, right? And so sure. when you're factoring in that too with the, the fucking, you know, what I mean, the market and demand and all that shit, right? You got it. You can't. You can't not factor that in. And so, it's, it's it takes a lot of fucking resources to drop a project. You know what I mean? And so that's, you know, time. You know what I mean? And so that's like anywhere from like several weeks. You know what I mean? To like sometimes years. You know what I'm saying? To like create that project, and there's a lot of money behind that. You got to bankroll all of that, right? And so it's a lot, right? And so um, it's all about timing because it doesn't make sense to do that. Um, you know, before 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 the everything is right, before everything is set up, you know what I'm saying? So No, no, I totally get you. And um, you know, speaking again about your music, uh it was back I think in July, I saw on your page you previewed some new music. Yeah. Um when can we expect that from you? Maybe that track that you previewed. And um when it comes to your rollout, what does it look like? Yeah, no doubt, bro. Soon, man. Soon fam. You know what I'm saying? Real soon, fam. Um, that track's called Fallen. You know what I'm saying? I'm mm -hmm. excited about it. Shot a video with um with, with Ben Telford, actually. And, you, know, you know what I'm saying? He's, he's popping in the city, obviously. So niggas know. You know what I mean? That shit is, is proper, right? And I'm excited to, to give that to y'all. I just need a little bit more time with it. Uh, but we're talking, you know what I'm saying? Looking at like weeks, not months. You know what I'm saying? So real soon. Uh, and I'm excited about that shit. Um, for the roll up, I would say that shit is is... I think it's, it's the rollout itself is an art, son. You know what I mean? Just kind of figuring that out and, and 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 the timing of everything and you know the different steps and how you want to promote it and shit. For for us personally, we just kind of do it in in, in 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 a way where it's you know we're kind of there's, there's we're, we're building a hype you know towards that that release right and so we're you know different types of posts, different types of of promotions on like social media and shit. One thing we always do that's kind of like, I guess, become like a bit of a, like a signature of ours is we'll do a, a bit of like a countdown, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, you're going to explain volume four, I broke that down for you, right? So we'll do like a four, three, two, one kind of thing. And then we'll drop the, the track or drop the, uh, like the video or whatever. Um, and so, you know, that's something that, you know, we, we, we tend to fuck with and we tend to do that uh, pretty consistently. It's... Um, and then after the song is out too, like the rollout doesn't stop, right? You gotta continue like promoting, continue pushing that shit, right? Cause a lot of people think, I don't know, you make, you make, a, you make a dope track or whatever, like that's it, like the work is done, but it's, mm -hmm. that's only really half the battle. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? You gotta you make a dope track and no one hear it, you know what I mean? And so you gotta pu uh, push that the right way into the right places. And so there's a lot of different ways that we try to tackle that, a lot of different like aspects, you know, um, you know, influencers to you know help promote that shit, you know, different, um, like I said, social media, different pages and shit. Um, a lot of different shit that goes into that. Most definitely. And I think for a lot of artists, you know, if you're just getting into music, you've been in music a while, like there is no right way to market your music. Every exactly. Just like your music, 
every way of pushing your music is unique. You know what I mean? Every fan base is different. So how you reach your fan base is not going to be the same as the next guy. So, you know, keeping it unique, keeping it, you know, fitting your brand is, is the most important thing. And, um, you know, we're not just talking 2023 and, and this new release you have, but just in general, what do you have planned for the future? Man, we got a lot planned, bro. It's, I think me and Coletta click well because we really just trying to take, you know what I'm saying, this shit as far as it'll take us, you know, for real. So for the rest of the year, we're trying to drop at least a couple more singles, a couple more videos, you know what I'm saying? The year's coming, you know, coming to an end, you know, pretty soon. But beyond, beyond you know, 2023, we're trying to kind of do a whole lot, man. Obviously, new year, new music, you know what I'm saying? Uh, beyond that, though, trying to... You know, like work with, with with different artists, work with more artists. Uh, one thing I, I, I definitely definitely want to do is, is work with more artists in the city too. You know what I'm saying? I feel like there's a lot of dope artists in Ottawa, and people kind of sleep on that. You know what I'm saying? And so definitely want to work with more artists locally. Um, one thing that we've been really prioritizing too is uh, trying to get back on the on the stage too, so more performances. Sure. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And and and, and trying to book more, um, you know, more 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 shows. You know what I'm saying? Got some connects out in this in in, in 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 different cities in the states too. So some travel, some travel as well, trying to tap in, you know what I mean, different markets and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Um and then beyond that too, something I'm 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 excited about. I can't really speak on how soon this will happen, but something we we we've been wanting to do for a long time is kind of like I like I was talking about earlier, right? Making, you know, VIV volume four, making that kind of like a brand and like a label, right? And so with that, you know, apparel and like merch and shit, you know what I'm saying? And so we want to, you know, we've been quietly kind of like cooking up concepts and shit like that, you know, for when the time comes, um, you know, to, you know, bring out, you know, different, you know, drop that, 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 that line of apparel or whatever and shit. Uh, I got a, uh, we, we had a website come up recently, right? And so um, we, have, we have, um you know, made sure to incorporate, you know, the aspect to be able to have merch on there and shit. Sure. And so definitely looking forward to that. One of my brothers from uh, Toronto too. He's, he's, he's real nice with the fucking, you know, cooking up the designs and shit like that, too. And so I'm excited to get him involved with that shit um, for sure. You know what I'm saying? In due time. Yeah. Yeah, most definitely. And uh, really looking forward to what you got on the way. But uh, for now, for the people, where can they find you on social media? No doubt. No doubt. Um, obviously, I'm on YouTube and shit. Uh, my main like platform that I do be using is uh, Instagram. I, do, I am on Twitter and, you know, and, and TikTok and shit as well. But uh, mainly IG, you know what I'm saying? So um, Dewey.viv, so, you know, D-U-E-Y dot V-I-V. Uh, that's the main page. And um, that just kind of links me to everything. So you see, find a link to like, the website and shit. You find, like, the label's got a page, too. There's a volume four as a page. And you find Coletta on there and shit. Uh, that's, that's mainly where you find me. For sure, for sure. Yeah. And uh, make sure to go tap into your music, man. I hope they go and tap into your music. Appreciate it, I appreciate it, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Appreciate you for sitting down today. It was a great conversation, man. Uh, really, really get to know another layer of you. I think it's really important. And, you know, hopefully people will be streaming more of your music soon. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, y'all go fuck with me, man. Go run that shit up. I'm on YouTube, obviously, and all the different platforms and shit. And like I'm saying, following that's coming soon, right? Um, and so make sure to tap in with that shit. Uh, I know y'all gonna fuck with it. Um, and yeah, big shouts to you, man. I appreciate you having me on, on fucking, you know, your platform here. I appreciate the opportunity, man. It's, it's all love, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I, I do appreciate you, man. Sure, man. Anytime, come through, come through. Uh, that was the Dewey interview. That's my guy, Dewey. Yeah. Peace, y'all. Love.